Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel of our enthusiasts. Before we get started, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you've been following for a long time and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe right now and uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and press the bell icon so you don't miss my future uploads. Let's get started. Over here in front of us is the Jeep Meridian. All right, you can see the LED lights. Okay, they just went off right now. You can see the slats of the grill covered with chrome. Okay, it looks like the compass slats. Okay, it's switched on again. <laughs> All right, I think there's some issue with the battery. Of course, the car has been in showroom. Uh, you can see the lights, fog lights also finished in LEDs. Okay, it's a nice green color. Okay, it looks very premium paint. Quality is really good. Build quality, of course, is also really good. You get wiper washers. You get aero twin wipers in this as well. All right, so that's pretty good okay uh, your bumper is finished in body color and a lot of chrome okay a lot of chrome is in this vehicle in the front okay uh, of course uh, you get parking sensors i am sure you get a parking camera over here but i'm unable to see the sensors this is your towing hook over here uh, still unable to see the parking sensors um i don't think they're there in the front or maybe they are so well hidden okay so <laughs> one sensor over here and one sensor is over here okay so two parking sensors available okay so only two parking sensors okay that's weird okay the price when i this that this is being offered parking sensors should have been at least four or six in my opinion showroom price of this vehicle is 39.5 lakhs i think on road kolkata it will come down to 43 to 44 okay uh on road kolkata that's my assumption but it will be mostly till there only okay i mean look at the size of the tires they are massive 235 55 r18 look at those massive discs four disc brakes okay uh jeep logo in the middle over here uh meridian finished in chrome meridian badging on the doors uh no door visors the door is going like this there's no plastic cladding okay all body color all right Jeep written over here. <coughs> LED lights, cube shape lights for the rear. They were flickering. I don't know why. Uh, Jeep written over here as well. And uh, this is your rear defogger, your rear wiper. All right. You also get a rear camera over here. Jeep logo in the middle. That's me in the mirror. Hello. And four by four, limited plus. All right. Uh, this is a reflector chrome over here parking sensors one two three and four parking sensors the rear towing hook at the rear of course this is an suv all right uh, you get a shark fin antenna the roof rails aren't functional you get a panoramic sunroof which is big enough all right and uh, this is finished in regular black i mean no gloss black nothing so weird you get light placement over here you get spoiler treatment over here piano black finish spoiler treatment um let's open the boot so guys the boot is not opening there's some problem okay the battery is down many remote se bhi try kiya many yahan se bhi try kiya dekho indicator jal raha hai par boot nahi khul raha hai to main boot space aapko screen mein de dunga iska spare wheel jo hai wo idhar hai theek hai ek size chhota hai 17 inch ka hai steel wheel hai theek hai I'm sorry, speaking in the air, no way. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. This is a seven seater car. Okay, we're gonna go explore the first row, we're gonna explore the second row, and we're gonna explore the third row as well as to how it feels in terms of seating and comfort. Okay, let's see if you've missed out on anything. Your over beams are finished in great turn indicators over here. You get a blind spot monitoring camera, you get request sensor over here. Fun fact, this is this car is competing with the Kodiak. Okay, the request sensor in the Kodiak is inbuilt, but you get a button over here. So cost cutting. Anyway, so but I like the alloy designs of this vehicle better than what we have in the Kodiak. Okay. If you want to see that video, you can check it out in the top right corner. Alright. And you can check that video out and compare between the two. Okay. Same request sensor over here, keyhole also over here. Fuel lid. Chrome finish going from the C pillar to the A pillar. There is no chrome finish over here. Matte black finish, matte black finish, piano black finish. Sorry, not matte black finish, piano black finish. And uh, that's about it from the rear guys, uh, from the exterior guys. We're gonna go inside and explore what we have in offer. All right. 
So let's explore the rear over here. So what do you get when you open the door? You get soft touch material over here, door opening operation, silver tutor treatment over there, speaker treatment, big storage over here, door handle storage here. Uh, no sun blinds, okay. That's one thing. Seats finished in leather, of course. Okay, so if you want to go at the back, how to tumble, you have to press this and it, you know, kind of lifts up on its own. Okay, so you can see the third row. Let's explore the third row. There is no step in this car, guys. It's very high. Okay, in terms of ground clearance, you can see it's really high, but there's no step. There should be a step given the height of this car, otherwise, ingress, egress will be difficult. Okay. Oh my god, I can't sit in the rear. Look at this. Let me get inside over here. Okay, the rear space is not meant for adults. Let me show the headroom. What's up, guys? Yeah, my headroom is the same story as the Kodiak. And it is so so close to the floor, the seats. Let me show you that also. See, the seat is comfortable, but it's so close to the floor. I mean, just look at this. I mean, it's so lowly placed. I don't think even kids can sit here. Oh my god. <laughs> so you get storage over here. You get this window of treatment over here. Storage over here. You get seat belts, of course. You get only two headrests. Let me show you over here. One headrest over here. No headrest in the mid middle passage. I'm talking for the third row. So uh, let's get to the middle row and then let's get to the front. Show you how will I exit. I have to. Oh my god. If you would have seen me, how I exited. You guys would have started laughing at my face. Anyway, <laughs> so, just see how close that is to the floor. Okay, so I'm just going to place this back and sit over here now. Alright, closing the door. Third feels okay, not that great. Uh, you can see the rear space from here. There is a hump Jeep written over there on the mat. Uh, let's open the armrest. Oh, you get three no two cup holders only this is a weird shape i don't know what you can store here so <laughs> the armrest is pretty good we're going to go in the middle row and see how the space feels over here oh yeah three people can sit here yeah. they can they can okay it i mean it's it feels the same more or less the same as <clears throat> the compass slightly broader of course but yeah three people can make do in this area not a problem that's what i believe ac vents over here control the ac vents from your usb outlet over here no air purifier you can see your panoramic sunroof placement the room is decent okay as this is the curtain okay and uh, it's a big car okay so headroom for tall people will is really good okay for me also it is pretty good all three passengers get ahead but this uh, third row is not for adults trust me Bed tiger. So uh, that's another story altogether. Uh, let's explore what else do we have in the rear space. Uh, soft touch, uh, door opening, uh, window opening uh, button over here. This is your door opening knob, your tweeter placement over here as well. Uh, okay, light over here, hook over here. Same story over there as well. And that's about it. Let's get to the front, guys. You can see the dash from here. Looks really good. Looks like the compass dash only when you, you know, see it from this angle. Getting inside. Okay, so, now we are at the front row. We have to go back to the back, but no matter what. Center console looks really good, okay. Looks very really premium, looks huge also. You've got four-wheel drive lock, you've got your hill descent assist, four-wheel drive low end, low range mode, and your hill hole assist as well. Electronic parking brake, automatic gearbox, of course. And this is your, I think, drive mode selector this is your ac unit dual zone same as the compass okay this is the same screen all right uh let's just see if we can switch this car on where is this so it's not switching on okay but anyway i think the battery is down there you go press brake and push start so this is how the key looks all right let me just show it to you once of course it is in park brave only bro but uh, Key fob not detected. What the hell? <laughs> the key is with me. 
so i had uh, i uh, guys the car's battery is fully down so i can't show you the screen so i'm so sorry or we are the same as the compass okay this is the controls for your cabin lights not led so weird and uh, this is at the price at this price point you should get led cabin lights i mean what are they doing uh, this is for your sunroof okay we all are aware and uh, yeah that's about it this is your glove box not cooled not lit up uh, this is your soft touch this is also soft touch material okay so wow no hard plastics only hard plastic on your glove box area this is leather it seats jeep written over here comfortable seats fairly comfortable soft touch over here lock and unlock option over there also this is your auto window opening option this is your driver side functions over here the orvms and the window functions this is your headlight function over here leveler and everything this is your steering wheel your cruise control functions your mid toggle buttons your call accept and decline buttons are also present this is a digital unit unfortunately it's not switching on right now guys so so sorry please bear with me storage over here you get two cup holders okay you get a small storage over here you get storage over here as well sliding armrest and that's about it guys nothing much over here uh, over here you get uh, auto dimming uh, you know irvm and yeah i've covered mostly everything you get your vanity mirrors with led lights i'm not sure whether the led lights because i'm switching on in the jeep also so let me know your thoughts in the comments whether these are led lights or not vanity mirrors over here also no ticket holder and that's it guys that's it from the front guys let's go outside and conclude the video so guys in terms of engine specification this car comes as the same in the compass let me just open it okay so no hydraulic struts okay you get a 2 liter turbo diesel engine 170 horsepower 350 newton meters of torque uh this is your stand over here all right so guys uh, it's well built it's really strong okay it is basically the longer version of the compass all right and uh, the rear seat is just for show let me be very honest with you okay and uh, my verdict if you are going for the jeep compass go for the compass only don't go for the meridian the extra space is not worth it okay but if you have kids they can sit there all right like really small kids can sit at the rear otherwise apart from that is the same car okay there is no difference whatsoever uh, anyway thank you so much for joining me in this video guys uh, it really means a lot your support means a lot to me don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like the video if you enjoyed it and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future uploads this was the video of the jeep meridian guys let me know your thoughts in the comments how do you think the car feels what do you think about the car what are your thoughts what are your suggestions every opinion is welcome let's just keep it friendly and let's just not make it toxic all right thank you so much for joining me i'll see you in the next one till then take care and stay safe bye bye